Hey guys, I'm Chandi and you're watching The Art of Science. In today's video, we are going to learn about how light reacts with different types of objects. More particularly, we are going to learn about the difference between refraction and reflection. So let's get started. Let's talk about how light interacts with different type of objects. When light falls on opaque objects, the objects absorb the light and reflect it back to us, allowing us to see these objects. When light falls on transparent surfaces, it passes right through with a little change, and this is called refraction. Finally, when light falls on a shiny surface, it bounces right back, and this is called reflection. So let's understand the difference between reflection and refraction. We will understand this with six key differences. So first is the definition. Reflection is the phenomena where light bounces off a surface and changes direction. The most common example is light reflecting off of a mirror. To understand reflection better, you can also check out our video on concave and convex mirrors. It's linked up here and in the description box as well. Now refraction. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one transparent medium to an other one with a different density. This change in direction occurs due to the change in speed of light as it travels across different mediums. To understand refraction better, check out our detailed video on what is refraction. I have linked it up here and in the description box as well. The second point of differentiation is the laws that govern these phenomena. The two main laws in reflection is first, the incident ray, reflected ray and the normal ray to the surface of the mirror all lie in the same plane. The second one is that the angle of reflection is equal to the angle of incidence. To understand these laws in depth, you can check out these videos where we have also done a DIY that you can follow to visually see these two laws coming to life in front of you. Now let's move to refraction. In refraction, we have the Snell's law that helps us to understand how light bends as it moves between different materials. The first law is that the incident ray, refracted ray and the normal all lie in the same plane. The second one is that the ratio of sine of the angle of incidence to the sine of the angle of refraction is constant for a pair of given media. This constant is called the refractive index of the second medium with respect to the first one. Now moving on to difference number three, which is medium change. In case of reflection, there is no change in medium. Light bounces and travels back into the same medium. In case of refraction, however, there is a change of medium like we saw earlier. Difference number four is direction change. In both cases, light changes direction. In reflection, light reflects and comes backward. But in refraction, lights move forward with a slight change in direction. Difference number five is change in speed. Speed doesn't change in case of reflection but it does change in case of refraction depending on the thickness of the material that it is traveling through. Last difference is surface. In case of reflection, the surface has to be shiny for the light to bounce off of it. In case of refraction, the surface has to be transparent and the light bending occurs at the boundary of the two mediums. So here is a summary of the key differences between reflection and refraction. If you had fun while learning something new today, make sure to give us a thumbs up. To keep viewing such amazing science content, subscribe to The Art of Science and we'll see you next week.